Well, for the, um, the National Committee, we have the mandate to basically um, advise people, bring awareness to the issues of food security and also work with the theme for the year, which in this case is our actions, our future. And through the actions of the youth, that's really where our future lies, with the youth. And so this tree planting ceremony um, is symbolic because the kids, one, they learn about caring for plants, they learn about indigenous plants that are scarce, and they learn about the importance of knowing these um, plants and how they contribute to our society. It also fosters community um, because they are aware that other schools took care of this plant just like them, and it brings a sense of pride. And um, it teaches them to work in groups, all of which we want for our future, basically, um, children that work together, who understand um, to care for the environment, who understand the importance of local food, who um, basically wants to be proud about passing on this message. So this activity is symbolic in that way and important. Senator the Honorable Clarence Rambarat, Minister of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries, expressed his eager intentions for the advancement of the National 4-H Council. The next step for 4-H is to lift their profile a little more nationally, to be involved in some of the national events. This is a national event, they're involved in it. And some of the other things I, as a minister, have to get them involved with. I want to see them represented on some of the committees that make decisions going into the future. This year's theme is actions um, relate to the future. You know what we do now, translate into the type of future we would have and part of the 4-H's future is to be part of the decision making on what we do. I intend to meet, meet with, the, with the board and to um, discuss with them and to see how as a minister I could continue to facilitate what they're doing.